gold, silver, plus penny stocks. That's what I want to talk with you about right now. My name is Mike Swanson. I run the website wallstreetwinner.com and the odds are you're watching this video because you clicked a link on my free email list uh, notified about it. Now if you're not on my free email list you're going to want to get on it because that's the first place you'll hear about information like I'm going to share with you right now. Huge news just came out uh, last night on a stock I'm following uh, but I got to tell you why it's important put it in a little bit of perspective I'm going to be writing a really detailed article about it next week but here's the deal uh, for the past 12 months the price of gold and silver and the mining stocks have been outperforming the stock market averages uh, while stocks like NVIDIA, Netflix, Canopy Growth, Aurora Cannabis haven't been doing much at all. This is where the action now is. Now, in September though, gold hit 1550 and pulled back uh, for several weeks. And now it looks like that pullback is over and action is gonna come back into this sector. That means the right stocks are going to totally explode from now on to the rest of the year. I think this is gonna be the red hot place you're gonna to wanna to be if you're a trader. And if you're an investor, there's even more uh, potential uh, than simply a couple of trades in and out uh, because the right stocks are going to go crazy. Back in August, I recommended a stock called Aftermath Silver as my top stock pick of the month. I own the stock still uh, to this day. Now, here's the deal. It's a penny stock. And the thing about penny stocks is they're penny stocks because they're development stage companies. That's why they're not $20 or $30 or $50. Uh, it's why they have huge potential in the right ones. But if you look at a chart of Aftermath Silver, it too pulled back along gold and silver since Labor Day. It looks like the pullback is over, especially when I show you the news I'm going to tell you about. But uh, as you can tell from the chart, there is no volume in the stock uh, for most of the year until June, July when that started to change a little bit. It's because it's a been considered a development stage company, even uh, a shell company by the main exchange it's on in Canada, but that's starting to change. Uh, and that's what this news is about. So last night, the company put out this press release titled, Aftermath Silver Closes Catch and Old Transaction Oversubscribed Private Placement. I'm gonna, not going to go into all the details. That's going to be at a uh, update I do a written update next week uh, subscribe to my email list to get that or if I've already sent it out by the time you're watching this it'll be the first thing you get after you do subscribe to the email list but to make a long story short uh, the company is closed out of transaction on a mining property that's going to be exploring and drilling uh, next year it raised money to close out that transaction but because all this is happening and exchange has approved it in Canada, the stock is going to be listed as a TSX Venture Exchange Tier 2 category issuer. Up until now, uh, it's been trading with an H attached to the ticker symbol in Canada. Uh, that should come off in a couple days by the time you watch this video. And that's going to impact the way the stock's been trading in the United States because most online brokers in the United States has a dual over-the-counter listing, but most online brokers, because of, of this status on the Canadian exchange, won't allow their American accounts to trade the stock. But that's going to change when the H comes off and more Americans are going to start getting involved in this. Uh, but the bottom line though, the real key thing is why, and that's because of this transaction closing out. It's, it's a stage in development of this stock and of this company. And that's why I think there's such potential to get in early. As I'm speaking with you right now and doing this video, the stock has a market cap less than five million US dollars. That's how cheap the stock is valued at, the, at this level in the company is and why there's such growth potential. I mean, this is really early level stuff, but the news has come out showing a company's executing on its uh, vision. And I think uh, these changes are gonna bring a lot of interest in it because this is really one of the very few pure silver plays in the entire world that people can invest in. And the price of silver is starting to hop again. 
we just simply had a little pullback. Uh, I know July, August, uh, even CNBC was talking about what's going on gold and silver, even sometimes on the nightly shows on CNBC. And all that ended uh, after Labor Day and, and the masses have kind of stopped paying attention. It's what happens during pullbacks and consolidations. But I believe that phase is now over uh, in the metals market and the stocks are going to start to get a bid. And people are going to start paying attention uh, when companies like this put out news like this. And you're hearing about it first. So, if you're not on my free email list, subscribe uh, and get more updates and we'll follow these markets together and move forward in these markets together uh, because this is where the opportunity really is now. So, do that and I'll see you on the other side.